Hi friends, welcome to my channel Steps to UK. Hope you are doing well. Today I would like to share uh, my knowledge about what will be the interview questions, how you can find interview questions with the job description and what are uh, my supporting documents, how I make my supporting documents and my uh, job history because everyone want to know how, how what, what is my supporting documents, how I did all the things. Everyone is asking my PDF. One thing you just remember if you see my supporting documents, the people who ever seen these video, they will copy all the things. Don't copy paste anything. Think differently because you are experienced. You are hospital and my hospital is totally different. And uh, don't copy paste ev anything because it will be just like a. Um, it's it's uh, it seems like similar. All the candidates' profiles look like similar. Say so they will not accept you. Think differently. You can just go and download different different job description, and you can take out one or two lines from each of them. That's what I did for initially. So after uh, doing a fifty or hundred application, we read through different different job description. So we have hundred lines of uh, hundred lines of. Uh, sentences from each job description this is enough right so this is how i make my supporting documents you can just uh, before one thing i want to tell you see the people who watch my videos know about how you will find an a, a find a sponsorship job in laboratory pro, pro, uh, sponsorship job in the lab so everyone is hardly trying for that so be aware of this and don't just apply for everything just download a job description take a time to read everything and uh, edit your supporting documents according to each job description you know that band two band three band five every, for everybody responsibilities roles and responsibilities is totally different so if you do a, a same format for band two and three you will get rejected so just read job description, download every uh, round, download each job description, read it very carefully and edit your supporting documents. This is what you need to do before you start application. Don't think that, you know, people are contacting me like they are telling me, yeah, I apply 150 application, but I'm getting rejected. But I want to make sure that how many application did you send before? Uh, how many application did you send perfectly? How do you focus? How did you read everything in the job description? No, they are just randomly uh, uh, give the applications. So don't do that. And another thing, if you are applying for medical lab assistant, don't mention that you are holding a CPC because that makes you overqualified. So don't do that and just leave that space blank. No regret for this post. That's the one thing that you should, you can select from that criteria. This post do not require that license. You can choose that option and don't show it if you hold a CPC because, you know, BMS, they are looking for a BMS. They are at, they need at least six months UK experience. Each hospital policies and each uh, BMS roles and responsibility is different. So once you are initially, you know, what I did when I sat application, I just applied for BMS only. In my mind, I'm thinking, I, I just uh, send my documents to HCPC. So I will get HCPC registration. Then why don't I apply for a BMS? That's what I'm thinking. And I feel like medical lab assistant is just like lab assistant job. I have this much experience. So why should I apply for medical lab assistant? But after 50 or 60 rejections, I realized that it's not easy to get a BMS job here. So I changed my mind. I changed my attitude and I started applying for sponsorship jobs like medical lab assistants. So when I came to here, you know, my roles and responsibilities totally different and even this senior mla i'm working here as a senior mla and it's not easy to handle this position here because when i go there my work will start by nine o'clock and it's end by 5 30 and it's a it's really hard to survive here you know so uh, i know what are the roles of a bms also so it's totally different. We cannot manage without knowing anything. We can manage if we are here for four or five years. It's easy to handle. But if we are coming from outside, it's 
it's not easy to work here so what they are doing when i came here i i realized that uh, two new mla resigned their jobs after 6 months now you know they uh, recruit another four members and instead of that four members there is another two more vacancies in my hospital so there will be more mla vacancies in every hospital it's because here there are people from uh, other countries they uh, they are daughters or they are uh, their son they will get graduation and they will work here because they have visa so they will work in nhs hospital for 6 months after getting 6 months uh, experience they are moving into another hospital they start their job as a band 2 and they are moving to another hospital as a band 3 so this experience make them to fit for a band 3 job from band 2 they are become a band 3 job likewise in my hospital there uh, in recently there is a vacancy for a trainee bms post all the band 2 are qualified all of them having ib ibms degree and etcpc qualification so we are seven members they applied for a trainee bms post so it's this is really competitive to get a trainee bms job the, there was one vacancy and seven members is uh, applying for that so think about that if we are applying from abroad they will not consider us it's because in the hospital there are seven qualified members are there they will get a chance to work as a trainee bms once a trainee bms uh, uh, it's seven or five or six years a um, Uh, a candidate should work as a uh, trainee bms for 4 5 or 6 years at that same position so uh, when there will be one uh, bms vacancy this trainee bms will move as a bms and the pension age is 60k just aware of that so don't waste your time to apply for a bms just think differently you will get a job when you are here you can become a bms that's what we need so just try to find out sponsorship jobs with uh, try to find out medical lab assistant job or associate practitioner job uh, with a sponsorship and i will show you how i uh, make my um, job history and my supporting documents i'm not uh, telling you that f- follow this one uh, i know that in youtube there are different videos are available some people will uh, write supporting documents as a letter some people will like as in bullet points i followed the bullet point ones and i think that it's easy they can uh, they can find the skills and all the responsibility if you are writing it as a bullet point this is my opinion and you can choose your own opinion and i hope that uh, you can understand what i mean if you have any queries just come, uh, comment me in the comment box and let's have a look at this google nhs jobs and go click go to search here type for medical lab assistant and just click search button then a list of jobs will come click any of these ones like we will click medical lab assistant university hospital and read job summary and scroll down and read everything here you can see roles and responsibilities and you can check whether they provide sponsorship or not if there is additional information that means they are providing sponsorship jobs download supporting documents so this is a list of supporting documents all the roles and responsibilities are here and you can see some in rows and column that means these are essential and desirable criteria so try to find out skills from these uh, rows and column and if you are going for an interview questions will come from all essential and desirable criteria find out keywords and prepare for each keyword in each keyword you just uh, make a practical situation and explaining as an example so this is my job uh, history and here i mention how i am receiving samples so what are the machines that i know so i included all the details in my history and this is another history that means i worked in a small hospital so i don't have that much things to uh, uh, give there so i just makes few sentences this is my supporting documents i started by saying two three introduction and up uh, two three lines of introduction and after that i mention my professional registration other professional registration that i got from my 
countries then these are my skills see here i mentioned i i got hcpc because this is for a trainee bms post so all my roles and responsibilities is different so if you were applying for a medical lab assistant your roles and responsibility will be different so for each job description change your roles and responsibilities and even skills so that's what you need to make sure you read and uh, you download and read all the job description then you can rewrite everything according to each ban so this is what you need to do and i think you got uh, some idea about how you can make your supporting documents and thank you so much i think you can do well and thank you so much